they can be pretty brutal. Yeah, you know, they might have two or three of you on the go. Did your family expect you to pay for them as well? That's I've heard some bad stories out there, but mine's a good story. That's a genius idea. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Jeff Thomas. Uh, where are you from? UK. What brings you down here to the Philippines? Friend's wedding in Manila in 2004. Wow, 2004. And did you ever go back or did you stay here oh, since then? A couple of times, but then I, I, once I was here, that was it. I loved the place. Okay. And what do you not, love not, about not it? Not so much Manila, mm -hmm. but more Cebu. What do I love about it? Yeah. Climate, of course. Yeah. But the people. Okay. The people, there's no language barrier. Mm -hmm. They are all lovely. I've mm -hmm. never had a problem here with local, local people. Yeah. So a lot of people are a bit weary about new environment, basically. What is it about the people that make them special here? They can't help enough. Yeah? I've, I've, been, in, I've been in different groups, off-road motorcycling. Mm -hmm. I've come off in the mountains, burn my leg, can't get up, you see nobody. Okay. And all of a sudden, there's 20 people trying to help you. Oh. From where? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> you try to give them money? Yeah. No, no, no. They don't want to. You know, I experienced that myself recently in Manila. Somebody very, very uh, courteous without wanting anything from um, me. Yeah. I mean, it is difference between between the city and the and the province mm -hmm. because, there, of course, there are levels of corruption any, anywhere. Yeah. Uh, and the city is more more so than the province mm -hmm. because they haven't got to that. They don't know. Okay. Lots. They're just nice people. Want to do good things. They go to church. They're all you know. They wouldn't have to fly sort of thing, but uh, in my experience, yeah. is, I mean, of course some people have had bad experience, but maybe they deserve it. Yeah, <laughs> I guess it depends what you get yourself into, right? Yeah, exactly, you... exactly. Okay, so you're here for almost 20 years. Are you married? What's your relationship status? Married since, two, well, together since 2006, married since 2008. My wife's a real estate broker, uh, and we've had business here for 12 years in real estate. Oh, nice. So you got a business here. We'll get to that in a second. Tell me a little bit about being married to a Filipina or being in a relationship with one. Is it any different than uh, girls in the UK? <laughs> it's the first time we've been married. Yeah. Which is odd for, for some people, I guess. Mm -hmm. but, uh, first time married, last time we married. My wife is fantastic. Yeah. Couldn't, you know, she's. I can't see a bad thing about it. I mean, yeah. I've had relations with the UK. Yeah, they're good. Mm -hmm. They're different, for sure. Here, if they love you, they love you. Okay. Unconditionally. I see. Whereas past experiences, like, yeah, they can love you, but mm -hmm. yeah, maybe, I guess. May, maybe not so unconditionally. <laughs> yeah, and that's, that's why there's so many people coming over, I think, yeah. to Asia. Like, this whole like passport bros movement and all that. I mean, Asia on the whole, I'd say they're probably all loving, kind, caring people. But Philippines especially, and they've got the language. Yeah. So there's no language barrier. But if you look at I mean, I know if you go look at in Germany, UK, anywhere, a lot of the nurses and doctors are from the Philippines. Yeah, definitely. Because they are carrying, they're carrying nurses. Yeah, for sure. Even in Canada, a lot of Filipino yeah, nurses yeah, yeah. and you know so, teachers and everything. Okay, now a little bit about her family. Are you close with your wife's family? Yeah, yeah. She, well, my mother died a few years back. Sorry she was. Uh, I actually knew the family before I met my wife. Okay. So it was a crazy. I lived in a province. <laughs> Uh, for a couple of years before I met my wife. I used to play football with some people, and a Swedish guy. Mm -hmm. And I met my wife, went on a date, went for dinner. She said, oh, you lived in my boy? Yeah, do, do you know Mika? I said, yeah, I play football with a Swedish guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's my brother-in-law. I said, what? <laughs> what so I knew, of a fam I knew of a family before I met my wife. You know, okay. so it was kind of, kind of strange. And my wife's mother was the barangay captain. Okay. So, and kind of well-respected within their community. So. Yeah. Basically, mine's a good story. Okay, I've heard some bad stories out there, but yeah. mine, mine's a good one. Yeah. Now, I hear some nightmare stories about family expectation. Is that true? Like, does your family expect you to pay for them as well? No. Um, yes and no. Mm -hmm. I, I've never... I guess I was lucky because... My brother-in-law, which now the Swedish brother, he set the standards before I, I got see. involved in that family sort of thing. But they've never asked for anything. Okay. But they, they're all established in their own rights. Anyway, my brother-in-law's LTO, high up in LTO, in the traffic mm -hmm. department. Um, so yeah, they, they've, they, they're successful in their own rights. So they, I've never been asked. Okay. I do know other people that, yeah, you know, it'll cost you 10,000 just to be friends with them for yeah. a month, you know. But 
I can. That's that's good for some people, not for not for others. Yeah, definitely. Because if, if you're on a part-time relationship, you're going back to the force of your own country. Yeah, you know they might have two or three of you on the go, for and, sure. and each of you get paying them ten thousand a month or whatever. So they're doing very well, but they're loyal to you when you're here. Yeah. But that's just that's the game. No, it makes sense. No, I, I understand fully. Yeah. I t are you have? Do you have kids? Do you have kids? No, no. Okay. One dog. One dog. Dogs are very uh, <laughs> take a lot of responsibility sometimes. Uh, for, for 14 years, it, we've had them all, all that time as well. Okay. Which is uh, yeah. No kids, unfortunately. Okay. And what's the age gap between you and your wife? She's 42. I'm I'm 25. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say you look I'm 50, more experienced. I'm, I'm 55. Okay, so not so bad in uh, compared to some other relationships, uh, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And do you live in the city or in the province mm -hmm. area? Where? Yeah, area? just behind where up, where on, the, up on the mountain side there. Okay. In the overlooking the city. So you've been here almost 20 years. Have you seen any major changes in the city itself? Absolutely. Okay. This, you wouldn't recognize this. 10 years ago, this. High rises, uh, mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's building fast. Yeah. Very fast. Okay. Now you have a real estate business here now, right? So, what, what's your advice for someone that wants to come here and wants to start their own business or work in the Philippines? Anything you could tell them? Yeah, I've been asked that so many times. <laughs> I've, I've actually, I've got, I mean, real estate, I've got a construction company, I've got a portable toilet business. Okay. That's a genius idea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, basically, and it's, just, it's still the same now. Probably business here, local business, everyone copies everyone else. Yeah, I've seen that, yeah. It's, so next door is the same, next same, same, and then there's no profit. Mm -hmm. it's the same thing. Come from the Western world, it'd be like, there's many things here that don't, don't exist. Don't, well, we have in the Western world, it doesn't exist here. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, the portable toilets. Yeah. Which, when we set up construction, build a house, I tried to get a portable toilet. Yeah, one company, and they only had five units, and they were all fully rented out. So that was the next step. Let's, let's set that up. But I mean, there's lots of things here that you think was what, what we used to own. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is this is home now for me. Yeah. But what you think is every day it should be, it's not yeah. here. Maybe that's a good business idea. Um, a lot of positive things. Any negative things? Some things that could be improved. I know there's a lot, but what are your personal dislikes about the Philippines? Um, well, it's the same anyway. There's corruption. Yeah. For sure. And to do business here, sometimes you have to look the other way or mm -hmm. you know, give an envelope or something just to get things done. Yeah, yeah. But that's the same anyway. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you don't see it so much, but it, it happens. And I mean, the worst thing to get down here is you, you get on the wrong side of a female, mm -hmm. and they, they can be pretty brutal. Yeah. Any yeah. stories you want to share? Anything you've heard about? Some things you oh, like? I, I mean, I, I'm not going to put it on the but yeah. I, I had a, an ex, uh, it was lovely mm -hmm. until she wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was like, I had to call my lawyer. I said, I, I've heard from friends, you know, she might. Accuse me of having drugs, you're gonna plant drugs, you're gonna lose that. I got locked up for a day, but then it was all okay. And then, mm -hmm. because after I'd left her, three months later, I bumped into her and said, Oh, but I still love you. It's a, I'm like, Yeah, anyway, yeah. They, they, they can be a bit too. Once they love you, they love you forever, yeah. it seems. A little bit too clingy, you know. <laughs> e even if it's not. I mean, now my wife, for instance, she's not that way, she's so, so you know professional businesswoman and if I was to mess up she'd leave tomorrow yeah okay I mean, she's, friend, she's friendly before <laughs> but, but it's never been that bad so yeah, you know, yeah. it's just like it's more, more of a joke but I know that she would and she yeah. could that, and she'd yeah. survive she doesn't need me mm -hmm. we need each other <laughs> that's great to know okay excellent do you ever consider yourself going back to the UK no okay well, why <laughs> did you Obviously, you have a life here, but don't you miss something from back home or anything at all? Not really. Um, I mean, Devon and Cornwall, mm -hmm. surfing years ago, uh, the countryside, it's beautiful, of course, mm -hmm. not so, and it's beautiful here, but then garbage. Okay. Garbage on the side of the street, and uh, not so much in the city, but outside, there's plastic everywhere. You go, yeah. certain, certain beaches you go to, 
it's just plastic. Yeah. But you don't see it. Well, maybe you do in certain parts of the UK, I don't know, but not from my experience before. But then I've not been in the UK for 16 years. So, I mean, I've been back a couple of times, but. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't really know what's what's changed okay. in that in that respect. But the, the West Country, you know, sit by you know, extra city places like that, beautiful cities. Mm -hmm. You don't get that here. Yeah. You can go to certain places. Got some Spanish history. That's nice. Ilo Ilo and, and various other places. But a lot of the Spanish, it, it was all torn down, mm -hmm. okay. which is a shame. So a lot of history's gone. But that's, that's it, really. I mean, you take a break from sweating, you know? I don't know how you handle the heat, man. I still... Well, I took 14 years, man. <laughs> I know, but it's been like three years for me to a different place, and I still got to, like, carry one of these around. And just to... Um, where do you recommend someone is looking for a Filipino wife to meet them? Because online can be hit or miss, to be honest, right? So what's your best suggestion for someone looking to actually have a true love or, like, wife like yourself? Don't look... Mm. It'll happen. It'll happen for you, huh? <laughs> you just gotta come here and experience if, it. If you look, yeah, you can get many. Yeah. You can get many wives also if you want, but I mean, is it gonna be the right one? Who knows? <laughs> uh, of course, I'm gonna say, where, where to go look? A bank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's you, a good place you know, to she's be, got right? a good profession. Yeah. I just <laughs> um, any business that you want to promote so people can go ahead and follow you or check you out if they're here in the Philippines? Well, if you're looking for a property, the rental or for sale, um, Cebu Property Sales and Rentals is mm -hmm. my business, my wife. Um, other than that... Is it difficult to buy property here if you're not married as to a, As a foreigner, you cannot own land. Mm -hmm. You can own the property on the land. And you can rent the land and own the property, but you can't own the land. Unless you go to a corporation, you can lease long term. 25 year renewable lease, which a lot of people do. Or you can get married, or if you've got friends that you trust, mm -hmm. then you put it in there. Not, not advisable. I was going to say, you got to really yeah. trust somebody <laughs> yeah. for that, right? So, okay. rentals, about, and honestly, I wouldn't come here blind and just buy. Mm -hmm. I would rent in a few areas, find out where you like, and then decide whether you want to buy or stay where you are. You know? mm -hmm. Great advice. Thank you so much for your time, man. I really appreciate that. Welcome. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of Jeff's story, his experiences in the Philippines, and share your thoughts. If you take your time to write it, I take time to respond. Now, for me personally, I've not been here for 20 years, but there are some things I've noticed here, even in the past few years, that have changed a little bit. Cebu City specifically is really, really developing and growing really fast. I see many different condos, developments, different projects going up all around the city. And one other thing I noticed, the traffic is getting really heavy in Cebu City. So keep that in mind if you're planning to live here long term. I highly recommend staying within the city centers like Ayala Business Park or IT Park. Something like that so you're very close to all the amenities and some of the different stores that you want to visit. With that being said, if you found this video informative, entertaining, or just want to show your love for myself, hit that like button. Share this video with someone that might find it informative as well. And consider becoming a member of the channel by joining memberships where you get a lot more behind the scenes, bloopers, one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, my WhatsApp number, and a lot more exclusive content. So check the details in the description of this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I was just gonna ask you, go ahead and have a sip, no problem, man. I'll, I'll edit that out, no worries. I don't want your beard to get warm. I feel comfortable just like two friends talking. I just want to get some details from me just to help some people trying to come here.